What's up you guys, it's your Shader Gamer back with another video, back with another banger. Look you guys, hit the subscribe button and join the Shade Team today. If you have not joined the Shade Team yet, then what are you doing? Anyway you guys, this video right here was supposed to come out tomorrow, but I actually got a lot of people asking me, Shader, what is your opinion on this? So I'm like, okay, you know what, let me go ahead and make a video on it and drop the video, because a lot of people ask. Now, the thing is this, when it comes to characters in multiverses, people have different requests. People have different characters they like to see in the game, and some people got other characters they do not want to see in the game. Now, there's a little drama going on on Twitter right now about somebody that went ahead and gave their opinion about a character they don't want to see in the game. And this started a big conversation on Twitter, and I could say some drama too when it comes to the Goonies, right? Well, Nikki Leaks went ahead and said this, respectfully, the Goonies have no effing place in multiverses. Now, to be honest, I ain't gonna lie, I don't really find this tweet respectful. I don't really find it disrespectful, but I definitely don't find it respectful because of the wording. That's the only reason why. But a person went ahead and explained why they said this. And I'm going to go ahead and read all of this or whatever before I go ahead and give my opinion. And I'm going to also show you guys what other people thought about Nikki Leak's opinion as well. So Nikki Leaks went ahead and also said this. The Goonies hasn't been relevant in decades. No one is going to see a Goonies character and think, man, I really want to play multiverses now. I'm sorry, but just because the movie is iconic doesn't mean it should have a character in the game. Uh, wait. So just because a movie is iconic, which that means it is very famous or popular, which the argument is because the movie have not been relevant and all, which by the way, you just said the movie is iconic. That's why the character shouldn't be in the game. To be honest, I think that was the wrong word to use if you were saying that a character should not be in the game because the movie not relevant. I would have never used that word in that argument personally because that kind of goes against what you're saying. But hey, that's just me. But this is what people had to say about it. Now, it did have people that agree with Nikki Leaks and had people that disagree. Which, from what I've seen so far, it seemed like more people actually kind of disagree than agree with Nikki Leaks. So, this one person that agreed with Nikki Leaks that I find more respectful about the whole entire thing, right? So, this person right here said they should add characters that people are asking for. I don't mind older characters getting added, but it's just the way better for the game to add what people want. Which, I do agree with that. I do. But I do have something that I'm going to add to that at the end when I give my opinion on the whole entire thing. Now on the opposite side you have people said that Nikki Leaks was gatekeeping, said it was an L take and I gotta say this tweet got like over a hundred comments so people said a lot of interesting stuff. Now the first thing that I saw about the whole entire drama about the whole entire thing was something that Noisy Boy actually said about himself. He said why are we crying about the Goonies? We have no idea how stacked the lineups will be for seasons two and three. I don't see anything wrong with Goonies if we still get some heavy hitters. I get being disappointed, but saying they don't have a place in multiverses at all is clown-ish. But you know what? I gotta say it. This tweet right here kind of hit on how I feel about the whole entire thing. But don't worry, I'm gonna get to it. But Noisy Boy, shout out to Noisy Boy and his YouTube channel. Now, another YouTuber also said something about this as well. Lost Tangent Outpost, spite him. He went ahead and said this, but as far as people complaining that they don't deserve to be there over other characters, it's very clear that they want to include as many IPs in this game as possible. It's not DC versus Looney Tunes after all. Hey, I gotta say, that is a base take. <laughs> But yeah, like I'm on Twitter and just like the feed is just going crazy with people talking about this whole entire thing. You should y'all should really check it out. I think it's really entertaining. Now, this is my opinion on the whole entire thing, right? Now, I have no problem with any character being put in the game. Not at all, not one bit. One thing that people kind of look over when it comes to the whole entire thing is the fact that yes, multiverses, they put hype characters in the game like let's say they put Ben 10, Mordecai and Rigby, you know characters that's at high demand. That's great. That's great for the game. But you also have to remember that Multiverses is also advertising for Warner Bros as well. One thing that I noticed is that the characters they've been putting in the game look like they have some type of TV series or movie coming out. Like for example, they put Velma in the game and have the Velma series coming out, right? They went ahead and they put um, Stripes and Gizmo in the game. They got a series coming out themselves. And these are characters people are like, why do you put them in the game? Because they have stuff coming out 
and Warner Bros gonna be able to profit from it and Multiverse is gonna be able to profit from it as well like for example you had the Black Adam movie come out they put Black Adam in the game that was smart then it could be vice versa we're gonna put all uh, stripes and gizmo in the game their series come out sometime next year people be like hey they in that game Multiverse let me go check that out same thing with Goonies Goonies might have a reboot coming out I don't know which I think is a smart idea to capitalize on stuff that's coming out because at some point in time you're going to trend and have people want to go ahead and play it so when somebody say that a certain character don't deserve a spot, that don't make no sense to me personally. On top of the fact that we are getting characters pretty fast in this game. We're getting characters like almost every two to three weeks in this game. So I don't mind that certain characters are not hype characters and then we get characters that's like, you know, kind of obscure or people don't know mixed in with the hype characters. Because like, for example, when Smash Bros released a brand new character, there were certain characters people just was not hyped for, but they went ahead and put those characters in the game and some people actually like them characters. Then on top of that, you have to think about this as well. The average gamer is like 30 something years old. So you have an older audience, especially a rated T game like Multiverses. Yes, you want to bring in the older audience because they probably got some older people be like, wait, the Goonies? I really enjoy that show. They in this game, and guess what? You have a game where a lot of young people playing and a lot of older people playing. You want to reach all markets, which is pretty smart. That's why I like the fact they added LeBron James in the game because guess what? You're reaching for the sports audience. You know, people that like basketball, people that like LeBron. I thought it was a very smart chess move. That's why I have no problem with Goonies being put in the game. And like Nikki Leak said herself, they are iconic. Well, if it's an iconic movie, then yeah, put an iconic character in the game. I think that's a smart idea. And the whole thing about a character deserve a spot and stuff like that, to be honest, to me personally, that don't really make no sense at all because how do characters really earn a spot? That's the thing. Like, yeah, you have fan demand behind certain characters people want, but at the same time, like for example, people ain't not talking about Harry Potter, but Harry Potter is literally WB most profitable franchise all time. So would that make it to where they earn a spot, but nobody really talking about them? Like there's so many things that goes into characters being put in a game. That's why the whole deserve thing don't really make no sense to me, really. Like yes, the more highly demand characters, do not get me wrong, cause somebody gonna twist this up. If a character is highly demand, I think they should be put in the game. But at the same time, if a character has a series or a movie or whatever coming out, a reboot or whatever, you should put them in the game because guess what? That going to bring people to the game. That's a smart idea. That's why the whole thing personally to me don't make no sense and I have no problem with the Goonies being put in the game. I really don't have a problem with most characters being put in the game anyway because guess what? It have a fan base for these characters. So it'd be cool to see those characters make it in the game for those communities. Like for real, especially a iconic movie. You say yourself, an iconic movie. Now I did tweet this out earlier where I said multiverse's community. I'm now thinking about doing a video on if classic characters being added is a problem. And Tony liked the tweet. So I think Tony, like, he sees what's going on. And I think, if you ask me personally, I think, like, no, this is a smart idea or whatever it may be. I don't know. He liked the tweet. So he liked the idea of a video being made about it. So, hey, shout out to Tony. Now, Nikki Leaks, I got to say, shout out to you too. Because I got to say, at least you were brave enough to go ahead and state your opinion. Did I find it respectful or disrespectful? No, not at all. But I got to say, hey, I respectfully disagree with you. But at the same time, I don't have no problem with you because I think people think because you just disagree with somebody, you don't like them. No, that's not the case. I don't have no problem with this person. This person might be pretty cool. I can say this person got heart. I can say that for sure. But <laughs> even though I disagree with them, but hey, it is what it is. That's the multiverse community for you. But look, you guys, y'all comment down below and let me know. Do y'all think obscure characters like the Goonies? Wicked Witch and other characters should be in the game that a lot of people do not know like the old old classic characters I really want to hear your opinion on this, but thank you guys for watching Make sure you like comment share the video and also subscribe and join the shade team join the shade team Thank you guys for watching shout out to shade team as always and I'm out